guys, Nerdy New Parent. Welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm actually a little bit disappointed because I thought for some reason this was going to be the loot box. What is it called? Just like the loot, oh, the loot crate box for June. I thought I got it really early, but then I just looked at it and it's actually the loot gaming box. So in this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2018 May loot gaming box. I hope that there's a ton of really old school Nintendo items in here. What do you guys think? You think that's what's gonna be in here? Let's find out. If you're interested in getting this box, I will go and put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. How does it look? Uh, it's kind of old school, a little bit. Okay, the first item we have is this little World of Nintendo Metroid figure. There were a ton of different figures in this collection. We got M Metroid, which is probably the one that I, to be honest, out of all of them that I really wouldn't want. They had some really cool little Mario figures that you could have received. Let's see if you can see them. Uh, I like the Mario and the raccoon suit, but we got Metroid. So there that is, there you go. The next item we got is this keychain. It looks like it's a keychain that either is gonna make noise or lights. I don't know what this is, but this is what the keychain looks like. Whoa, 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 whoa. And there's a little tab. I'm actually gonna pull the tab so we can see what this thing does. I'm assuming you press this little button. Whoa. Whoa. It makes, oh, it lights up too. It makes really loud noises and then it lights up. I don't know. I have no idea what this is. But it's a cool keychain. Not gonna lie. I mean, I like the keychain. All right, next we have, uh, oh, it's one of those little like Incredibild wooden figures, I think. Yes. So this is from Overwatch and this is Diva's Mecha. I have still yet to try to put one of these build kits together. I tried to do one of those little metal ones and it was so frustrating I just gave up. But I feel like this 3D wood model and poster kit would be easier to build. Or like, you know, like the wood part of it. But this is just a blank wood model and then you can paint it, I think, if you want. But it just will look like that if you put it together. So that's not bad. And then the last time we have is our shirt. We have an Overwatch shirt. It is black and I got a, what size did I get? A men's medium. I should have known that. Oh, this shirt looks kind of small though. So here's the design. There's also a back design, which we rarely get in these boxes. Usually we just get one-sided. Oh, you know what's funny? I don't know anything about Overwatch, but I actually really like the shirt. I love shirts that just have like, all the characters on it and I like how symmetrical this is so not a bad design I mean I don't know if you're an overwatch fan if you think it's cool or not but I actually don't mind this design I love when I get Nickelodeon shirts that are like this or like Marvel shirts or just anything that has like a ton of the characters on one like if they made one of these that was just like Super Smash Brothers and all the characters that are in Super Smash Brothers that would be awesome all right oh I'm sorry that wasn't the last item in the box Ugh. I messed that up so bad. Oh my god, I love this pin. So here's our loot gaming pin. As you guys know, they don't do the loot coin pins anymore. But I love this one because it says pew 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 pew. I love making that noise. Like pretending like a little laser gun like pew 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 pew. So I'm totally a fan of this pin. And sadly, I think this might be my favorite item in the box. Okay. Uh, let's go and do some pricing and recap. And along with that, we of course have our poster. The poster looks like the shirt design. So this is an Overwatch poster that looks just like the shirt design. They did have an epic drop where you would win some kind of like statue thing right there. I bet you no one won that. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Do it. Okay, the first item that we have is our shirt. It's our Overwatch anniversary shirt. So on the back it did say, what did it say? Oh, it just said Overwatch anniversary. So some kind of anniversary. Two years as of May 24th. So there you go. We're gonna give that $12. We had our pew pew pin, which is awesome. I'm gonna go to give this one. It's kind of small to be honest. You probably could give it four or five dollars. We'll be nice and give it five, but you probably could give that one four. We had our little over our little Metroid figure. I can't imagine. I don't know. These look pretty cheap. I feel like you could probably get this. I feel like I'm gonna give it a price and you guys are gonna be like, oh, I sell it at the dollar store. But I'm gonna go ahead and give this uh what? Three or four dollars? Is four high for that? Let's do 
four. I'm thinking more like three, but I don't know. We'll see. We had our Overwatch build kit. Kind of interested to see how much this actually is going for on Amazon. Although I don't know where my phone is. Oh, there it is. This technically says a Loot Crate exclusive, but I can imagine that it's not like really exclusive. I don't know. Okay, wow. Oh my gosh. Why is this so expensive? So the normal price for these I want to say is like 15-ish dollars, but this one specifically is going for, oh, you can get um, a Funko Pop of this character for $15, a six inch Funko Pop. But this wood kit is, is technically going Technically for $25.99. I feel like that's kind of overpriced to be honest. That seems really high like way higher than it should be oh My god, why are people selling this on eBay so high? Really? I don't know guys. I think you can give this $15. You might be able to give it 20. That seems so high I'm just gonna do 15 but right now you can't it seems like it's going for like 20 to $25 online I don't know why that's so high though and then the last item we had uh, I'll give I'll give a I'll give a dollar to this poster actually. I always forget to price the posters because I forget about it. We had their, our little what is this? Our exclusive Destiny 2 Ghost keychain. So oh everyone got the Metroid figure. I thought we would get different ones. This Destiny keychain. Okay, this is a cool keychain. It's sound activated. It has lights, which is neat. Um, I wish the packaging was a little bit better with it. I would probably say because of the packaging, I'd probably give this. I think no more than $5 and just leave it at that. I wish it had legitimate packaging, it would get more. Okay, so according to my pricing, this box is worth $42. I did price a couple things a little bit high, so you know, you have to maybe give and take a few. All right, this box costs $34 a month, which means we got $8 extra value for a $34 box. We are looking for about, well, at least $11 extra value. So this box did fall a little bit short. And like I said, I think I actually pricing's kind of high, so. I don't, it, it might have fallen a little bit more than a little bit short. It might have fallen a lot bit short. It just depends on how you price things. But I guess if you want to be nice and give that wood kit uh, more money, then maybe you would have hit your value. So it just depends on, depends on how you look at it. You know what's weird? I don't know Destiny or Overwatch, but I like the types of items they gave. I wish that they were based off of like, you know, Nintendo or Mario or something that was that I was into, but I do like Incredibles. I think they're cool. I like this shirt. I actually weirdly like the shirt. I don't know why, but I do like the shirt. This Metroid figure, I feel like, is probably cool to some people, but it seems a little bit... I don't know. It doesn't seem as cool. And my favorite item is this pew 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 pin. That's my favorite. Uh, if I had to rate this box, I would probably just give this box a 3.5 out of 5 noobs. It's nothing really that special and it didn't really hit the extra value that we're looking for. It's, it's better than I think what this box has been a little bit lately. Like, it's not terrible, but it's not super great. It's kind of just average. That's why I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 noobs because that's like getting a C. So I would say 3.5 out of 5 noobs. I mean, I like that it got some extra value. I wish that it would have gotten more extra value. And then the items are cool, but just for me personally, I didn't really relate to them. So it just depends on, it just depends on if you, if you liked all the items in this box. I think the most you could give this box is maybe a 4.5 out of 5 noobs. I still think it's lacking in value and probably needs to add one more item or out of the items that they gave us, give us one instead of like such filler items give us one bigger better item i suppose anyways that is all i have for you in this video thank you so much for watching if you like this video feel free to click the like button below if you want to see more unboxing videos go ahead and check out my channel i have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box what are your thoughts it surprisingly came here still a little bit late it usually gets shipped to the end of the month but i usually get it within two weeks which is sort of kind of when i got it i guess for the most part. So I guess it didn't come too late. But what are your thoughts about the items? Did you guys like the franchises they featured? Did you like the items that they gave? I don't remember. What was the theme? Was there a theme? I think it was like Overwatch. Oh, here it is. Oh, the theme was pew pew. Okay, well because of that, then I would say actually my rating is a 3.75 out of 5 news because I love saying pew 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 pew. Anyways, yes. What, what did you guys think of the box? Let me know your thoughts down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which I don't know if it's coming up. It should be coming up soon. If it's not coming up in this video, it should be coming up in next video because I think I had more people subscribe, but I'm going to have to look. So make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and be on the lookout for that. And before we go, we must do the video shout out. I was trying to multitask. I probably shouldn't.
Uh, today's video shout out is going to go to Sarah Bearhug. Sarah Bearhug, you get the video shout out for one main reason. Because you just like Captain America just like me. But Sarah, thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support. Thank you for being a fellow um, Captain America dislike her person. Dislike her? Dislike her person? It sounds like I'm saying dislike her. So um, thank you for being an another person like me who doesn't like Captain America. I didn't explain that very well. Anyways, you know what I mean. Uh, Sarah Bearhug, I want to give you the video shout out. So, shout out to you, Sarah Bearhug. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.